Okay, here are some left hand pinky exercises. If you want the music and tablature for these, uh, write me through my website or my email address, which you can see right here. It's real important when you do these, if you, ha if you do not already play fluidly with your pinky, you need to do these extremely slow and extremely clean. The first set is I'm going to play seven on each string with the pinky and six with the ring finger all the way across and back. Now do these extremely slow and do not be happy until you can play every note very clean. Now we're going to do the opposite, S six to seven. Notice as I do this, I'm keeping the pinky bent and coming down on the tip of the pinky. Okay. The next exercise is pinky on seven, ring finger on five, all the way across and back. Now it's opposite, five to seven on each string. The next one, pinky on seven, middle finger on four all the way across and back. And it's opposite, four to seven. This next one is one of the harder ones to do. It's seven with the pinky to three with the middle finger. Do this one very slow and deliberately keeping the pinky in the proper position. Sorry. Now just the opposite, seven to uh, three to seven. Remember to play these slow enough that you could get an extremely clean controlled sound and that you're landing on the end of the pinky with both knuckles bent. If you do it too fast to where you don't land on the end of the pinky or you straighten out either of the knuckles, you're training yourself in a technique that will never be fluid eventually. So you're going to have to go back and just go slower and train yourself. You have to let this uh, exercise, you can't use it as a speed exercise, you've got to use it as a training for accuracy exercise first. Eventually you can use it going faster when you learn how to play accurately. And the last one of these is going to be 7 to 2 with the pinky on 7, index on 2. And it's opposite, two to seven. That completes exercise number one. There's one more exercise I'm going to give you that once again stresses the pinky.
and how it's used. So once again, just like I've been telling you all along, make sure that you play these exercises extremely slow, very accurate, keeping the pinky bent and landing on the tip of the pinky, not the side and not on the nail. So here's the second exercise. Once again, if you want the music or tab to this, email me and let me know and I'll email you the PDF file. In this one, we're going to play the pinky on seven, ring on six, pinky on seven, ring on five, pinky on seven, middle on four, pinky on seven, middle on three, pinky on seven, index on two, pinky on seven. Then we move to the next string and do exactly the same thing. Notice once again that I'm stretching backwards right here to get this. I'm not moving my hand up and back. I'm keeping my hand in the same place, but stretching backwards with my index finger to get that. Reminder, once again, very slow, very accurate with your pinky placement and pulling back with the index finger. Now the D string. Finally, the G string. That one's a little more difficult, so you may want to do that one more often. I like to use right hand exercises and left hand exercises as warm ups for when I first pick up the instrument each day. So I'll spend, I will do these two exercises that we've just, that I've just gone through. I use them as a warm up for the left hand and then I use some warm ups for the right hand. There's some real good, uh, if somebody, if anybody wants some right hand warm ups, I'm not going to do a video on them. There's a whole bunch of things on the net. There's some good uh, ones at Mandolin Cafe in the mandolincafe.com in the instruction set. In the instruction area. Um, I can email anybody a PDF that they want of some right hand exercises, a few right hand exercises. Um, if you have any questions about the right hand, look at my video on the right hand on YouTube. And um, anybody else, work at things very slowly, very clean, and good luck.